Hi guys, hope 2018 is treating you well so far. Just a little short video today, we wanted to put out a little update for you because we've got a new camera and it's very exciting filming this bit on the old camera. Incidentally, if you're waiting for our continuation of our little visit to Blackpool, we'll go to Madame Tussauds, that'll be out on Saturday. We can't wait for you guys to see that because we had a really great time and there was lots of fun things to see so we've got that to look forward to on Saturday. Anyway, I wanted to show you our exciting new camera. Oh, we got a G7X. It's so exciting. I've been waiting for this for quite a long time. It's a bit of a stereotype because I know a lot of vloggers have these, but a lot of vloggers use them because it's a fantastic camera. So it made sense. And thanks to Mark from Mark and Gem for pointing out that they were on sale for a good price at uh, Curry's and a few other retailers as well, actually, at the moment in the kind of New Year's sales. So we picked it up for a pretty good price. If this isn't an unboxing video. I have already have it, had it out of the box. It's in a, a little hard shell case that I got with it as well here. But uh, yeah, if you were looking for an unboxing video, unfortunately not. I, I couldn't resist when it came the other day while I was working from home. It had to come straight out of the box so I could have a little play with it. But it's uh, I'm very pleased with it so far. And we'll switch over to it now so that you can see what it looks like compared to this camera. So here we go. This is what I look like on the G7X. You can see it's quite a, a different looking picture. It's a lot more of that kind of cinematic, uh, sort of SLR kind of look, if you're used to photography. That sort of, the background is kind of soft focus and the, the main focus of the image is on me. You'll notice as well, it seems to be a lot, a lot better in low light. This is one of the key things that I was really interested in about this camera, is how well it performs in low light situations, particularly because our, our old camera, it's not a bad camera by any means, but it really does kind of suffer in low light and we found that in things like when we were on the Avatar, the Navi River journey in Animal Kingdom at Disney World, it, it really kind of struggled compared to some videos in there that I've seen that people have filmed with the G7X. So I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of some dark situations, uh, <laughs> safe dark situations where we, can, where, where we can use this camera and show you guys what it looks like in low light situations. This is what it looks like out of the box. Again, I'm filming this on the old camera, so you can see straight away how kind of grainy it is in here. It's not too dark in here, but you, you can see straight away, but because it's not perfect daylight in here, this camera is kind of, it's, it's got quite a grainy image going on. Whereas the, the G7X in the same lighting conditions a minute ago was giving us a lovely sharp picture. Anyway, this is it out of the box. We've got the, this thing is called the Micro Muff on the top, for those of you who haven't seen one before. I know these are very popular. This was recommended in a lot of the reviews that I read from people who use the G7X for vlogging. And that keeps wind noise out. Uh, within reason, it's not going to stop it if you're walking around in a, in a bit of a, a gale or anything like that. But it's definitely a worthwhile investment to keep general wind noise out of the microphone when you're out and about. One thing that's really useful for this camera, those of you who haven't seen it before, and this is kind of awkward with one hand. In fact, let's put this down on the tripod before I drop my new camera. Okay, so you can see we've got the, the screen on the back there, which has got some fingerprints on it already because I keep jabbing it with my fingers. But the screen folds up 180 degrees like that so that when you're out and about vlogging, you can see yourself on the front of the camera. Obviously, this thing's in the way, but it's that kind of helps in a little bit because when you, you're vlogging, you don't really want to be looking at the screen. You want to be looking down the, the lens here. This is our old camera, by the way. I know, I think I have shown this before in an earlier video where I gave a bit of a, a gear overview. It's a Panasonic HCW580. And it is, as I, as I was saying earlier, it's a good camera. It records in full 1080p HD, 50 frames a second here in the UK. And in the US, I believe the US model films in 60p. But... It's, it's just, it's the low light for me that it's not good enough in low light. Whereas the, the G7X that I'm filming on now, well, you, you can see straight away the difference from the footage that we shot on this Panasonic camera a second ago compared to this Canon in the same lighting conditions. It's a far superior performance. Incidentally, I don't think we've shown you this before, which is what Stevie's brother bought her for Christmas. And it's actually a, a metal plate, which is, stuck onto the wall with a magnet there's a magnet that kind of sticks on magnetic plate that sticks onto the wall and then this picture goes on top and it's a really nice picture obviously it's the castle at the magic kingdom and it's a lovely reminder of 
our vacation there this year and of course Stevie and I got engaged at the Magic Kingdom so it's a lovely memory of that. It's now here taking pride of place in our house so thank you to Stevie's brother for the lovely Christmas gift. Just to demonstrate the difference in the low light capability a little bit more this is the old camera that I'm filming on. This is the, the nice messy shoe rack with all of our shoes just thrown everywhere and my bike which still hasn't been out for a while I need to go and do that but the only light that I've got at the moment is in the, the kitchen over there so there's no lights on in, in here in the hall or anything like that but I wanted to show you so this is what it looks like this is one shot on the Panasonic camera uh, this is the same shot here on the G7X you can see straight away how much clearer that is in this light so I haven't changed any of the lighting conditions you still just got the kitchen light on over there and you can see straight away there's a significant amount more detail in this see my my red converse really stand out there in the light whereas it all looked kind of dull and grainy on the Panasonic I'll try and be clever with the editing software and show you a little picture in picture or split screen or something so you can see side by side the difference between the two cameras here but that's going to do it for today just wanted to do a quick short video to introduce you to our exciting new camera which we can't wait to get out and about filming with it not long now until the theme parks here in the uk start reopening we've got blackpool pleasure beach reopens on the 10th of february and we'll be there for opening day and alton towers opens on the 17th of march um hopefully their new roller coaster the wicker man will be open on opening day so fingers crossed for that fingers crossed we'll be there well, we'll definitely be there, but hopefully the Wicker Man will be ready to go for opening day. Alton Towers confirmed all the details of the new ride the other day, and I really can't wait to ride it. Icon of Blackpool Pleasure Beach as well, really looking forward to riding that. That is going to be later in the spring though, that is definitely not going to be an opening day attraction at Blackpool. Probably more like April, May, I imagine. Uh, I, they may try and get it open for Easter in, at the end of March, early April, but you, you never know, it depends, they're still under construction with icon at the moment so you, you don't know how long the kind of the final build and testing and all that's going to take so we'll wait and see anyway thanks very much for watching this video check out our madam two swords video on saturday when that comes out thanks for watching this video hope you've enjoyed it make sure you subscribe to follow our adventures we'll see you guys soon bye